In today's video, we're opening up the first ever Metal Raiders box. The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game originated in 2002, but that was not when Yu-Gi-Oh! first began. Yu-Gi-Oh!'s first set of cards was a booster set called Volume 1, released to the original card game, aka OCG, on February 4th, 1999. One would think the TCG's first release, such as Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, and Magic Ruler, were named after the first ever sets in the OCG, but curiously, these sets were not original sets from the OCG, and they didn't even come out in that same order. Magic Ruler was the third set released to the TCG behind LOB and MRD, but in the OCG, Magic Ruler was the first of these three sets to release, but wasn't even in the first 10 sets released overall. Metal Raiders was the last of the original three TCG sets to release in the OCG, premiering on February 22nd, 2001. It is also a much different set than the English set. It is a combination of the original Metal Raiders set and the revival of Black Demon's Dragon set. OCG Metal Raiders contains 84 cards consisting of two secret rares, three ultra rares, seven supers, 12 rares, and 60 commons. While the English version contains 144 total cards consisting of two secret rares, 10 ultra rares, 10 supers, 22 rares, and 100 commons. Today we are opening an original box of Metal Raiders from 2001 to see all the differences between it and our version in the TCG, and also attempting to pull a secret rare. What's up guys, we're back with an insane OCG Yu-Gi-Oh opening, opening the original Metal Raiders set. And as you guys can see in the background, we have a Metal Raiders poster for this 2001 Yu-Gi-Oh! release. So this actually came out in the OCG before the TCG even came out. We had a little intro talking about the history, but I was surprised to see that Metal Raiders is actually not one of the early sets. Like it's really like far into the OCG. OCG started like 99. This didn't come out till 01. So that was very interesting to see. Another interesting thing for me was, by interesting, I mean really sad. There is no Pecanio Moth in this set. I know, Metal Raiders with no Pecanio Moth. I don't know what set it comes in in OCG. I'm gonna have to figure that out, but there is though, to make up for it, kind of. I mean, you can't really make up for having no Pecanio Moth. It does have a super rare Grande Moth. So obviously that will be our number one goal for this video. So based on what I can tell, I think there's 30 packs in here. I think I saw it somewhere that it said that uh, the, the original Konami logo before 2003. Yeah, on the side here, it says 30. So I think that means 30 packs. That would probably make sense. So we're going to be opening this up in this video. Pretty excited for this. But before that, we do have something to mention that is part of the giveaway. A friend of mine, Gezi TCG, has made these new sleeves. I mean, they're, they're new, but they're like old style. So as you can see, they're called Blue Rain. So it's, that's the name of them. They're kind of like old school sleeves. If you remember back in the day, we had all these like really shiny patterns that people used and Blue Rain is based off of those. And these are specifically designed for Legend of Blue Eyes. So uh, it doesn't necessarily fit what we're doing here because Metal Raider is not LOB, but I really should have done this in the all LOB video, but I didn't have these yet. But you know, that's just how it works. So he is selling these at the moment and I'm a big fan of how they look. I haven't actually used them yet. So we're going to be using them throughout this video to see, you know, how we feel about them. I think they look really cool though. And they remind me of the old school days with these really awesome patterns on the back. So if if you guys are interested in any of these by the end of the video or right now, there will be a link down below. I do have 5% off. There'll be a discount code in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, they'll be on Strictly Sealed's website. So him and Gezi TCG are working together. Gezi is the guy who helped us out with the LOB opening. I've mentioned it many times. So we're going to be using some of these and the giveaway is going to be uh, probably a couple packs of these. We're going to use these. He's sending me a few more. So I'm going to give away a few of those to one of you guys. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. How do you feel about OCG Metal Raiders? I already got one knock against it. No Petit Moth. Let me know your favorite hollow in here because I'm going to go through. There's actually a much different lineup here. And by much different, I mean a lot of the cards that are normally in Metal Raiders for us are not in this set. There's only two secret rares in the set and guess what they are? You probably can't. It's Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. I know, a common in our Metal Raiders is a secret rare in this one. Then we have Time Wizard, so got buffed up from an Ultra. Pretty cool. The Ultra Rares, there's only five of them. So it looks like basically the OCG takes two sets and sticks them together, and that makes one English set. Because, you know, you go from five Ultras to ten Ultras, stuff like that. The five Ultras are Thousand Dragon, was a secret rare for us. Garnesia Elephantis, weird. Barrel Dragon, Mirror Force, and Oh, there's only four. There's only four. Okay, interesting. And then the Supers, Grande Moth. We got Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, Solemn Judgment, Magic Jammer, Seven Tools, Horn of Heaven, and then Shield and Sword. Weirdly, as a rare, now a super rare. So we've got an interesting lineup to potentially pull from. I obviously want that Grande Moth. I think Gazelle as a secret would be really fun. So we're going to open this thing up. Shout out to Kid Collectibles. He sold me this box. Obviously, I love Metal Raiders, so we got to open this up. It's not really the same without Petite Moth, but it is still MRD. Got a lot of really cool cards inside. So here we go. I think our version, I'm not going to lie, the English version is just 
just better with the cards that we have. But I think it would be really cool to have like Gazelle as a secret as well. That would be pretty fun. So here we go. Metal Raiders, we have cracked the box. Oh my gosh, we have, we've destroyed the value. Okay, let's go. Original Metal Raiders box. So it looks kind of like a Korean box, basically set up the same way. I'm gonna pull these packs up. I mean, this does look really cool. I kinda wanna, problem is you can't really see it on the, yeah, I guess we'll just pull them out. I have no idea how these are set up. So we're just gonna go one at a time, see what we can pull. Can we get that Grande mod? I remember before we had one of these in the 200 pack opening. Go, go see that if you haven't seen it already. But I was like, can we get the Petite Moth? No, you literally cannot. <laughs> you literally cannot get the Petite Moth, but you can get the Grande. So let's see what we can pull here. Uh, these packs open a little interestingly. There's not a guaranteed foil in each pack, kind of like Korean. So we have a Bickery box. We have a Tainted Wisdom, I think. Or is it Ancient Brain? I can never, I always get those confused. These are, look how glossy these are. We have the Baby Dragon. That's a nice card. We have the Dragon Piper or something. And a oh, Ryukishin Powered. All right, not bad. We'll see. I think uh, I might have missed that other comment. I'm gonna try to get them all right. When we get to a foil, we'll use some of the blue rain sleeves that Gezi sent me and see how we like them. But they look pretty cool. I think the cards will look really nice in here. They fit LOB. So I guess they're gonna go three, through and do some like, you know, LOB and then MRD set. I mean, gray, I guess, will be the next one if it's MRD. Or they could do these cool OCG green ones. That'd be pretty nice. We have a Blade Fly. Very cool. We have a Stem Pack. I like the extended artwork of OCG. They have a smaller, oh, Rux is special, uh, Hoshingen. They got like a bigger uh, art box and less of text area down here. And then, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh turned into the text monster it is, so they definitely couldn't do that now. Oh, okay, so we got a Crass Clown and a Prevent Rat. Okay, so only one that I've been a little confused on. I think this is a 60 card set, so it's not huge. Yeah, but like MRD and art, you know, in, I was gonna say our area, I guess that makes sense. Uh, it's like 125 or 126, something like that. So there's a lot in there. We have a Swamp Battle Guard, very nice. The Immortal of Thunder. Look at these cards, man. They're insane. I have never opened this set. It's really fun. Blackland Fire Dragon getting his nose cut off. And wait, oh, oh, we might have gotten some back there. Could it be a Gazelle? We have Crash Clown. It is a normal. Let's see. Oh, an ultra rare Garnesia Elephant is probably the least interesting one. This should be a super rare. I don't know why. Really, it should be like a rare, to be honest. Do they even have rares? In it? They do have rares. Okay. So we haven't gotten a rare yet. Garnesia Elephant is ultra rare. Can you grade these? I don't know if you can grade these. Centering's pretty bad, but I'm assuming you can, but I'm not actually sure. All right, let's see. We, we want to help out Gezi. He has helped us out many times in the past, so we want to check out these sleeves for him. Let's see how they're looking. All right, let's open this up. Oh, yeah, okay, looking nice, looking pretty clean. Oh, they go in nicely, okay. Oh, yeah, all right. They don't, they're not too skinny, which is always a problem with, not always, but a lot of times it's a problem. They're not too skinny, so you can get your cards in there without like damaging corners or anything. They look beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. I really, I think running a deck of these would be really fun. These will fit in a binder really well as well. They're really aesthetically pleasing, very hard to say, but uh, you know, it's a thing. All right, cool. That's a beautiful looking Garnese Elephant. It's probably not the card I was looking for. Looks pretty clean though and minty for being uh, 22 years old at this point, older than any OCG car, or uh, TCG card cards we've ever opened uh here we go rabbit horseman we have the labyrinth defender or something we have a bickery box i can never remember that labyrinth guy we have thunder dragoon and it's a rare i think oh barrel dragon this is one of the cover cards all right there it is barrel dragon back-to-back -back ultras how many ultras do you get are we gonna get the whole set this would be crazy all right let's sleep this bad boy up first of all let's see what can also we have the lost art lost art because it's the original art very cool centering looks good on that oh no look at the back what is that all right not this is not a great option even if they do grade them that's okay we'll put in this beautiful sleeve and you'll never remember that the back looks like that look at that oh can't even tell too shiny all right couple ultras i don't know if i don't know how many you get i mean i really have no idea what we get hey, are we gonna get two ultras you get a secret guarantee do you not i really don't know 30 packs so it's not like korean or english because we get 24 in the u.s we get 40 in the korean boxes so i don't know wait this is in the starter deck Pegasus. What is this, Griffin's Feather Duster or something like that? We have the Witch's Apprentice. So that's a card that's not normally in Metal Raiders for us. This is the uh, German... I don't feel like it's like Parasite something. I don't remember. Then we have the uh, Flame Cerberus and... Ooh, a Dark Elf. Just a re We haven't gotten a regular rare yet. Still looking for those rares. Some of the rares, let's see what they are. Karibos are rare. Sangans are rare. That's normal. Catapult Turtles are rare. 
Uh, anything really cool. Which is the Black Forest, Unhappy, Robin Goblin, Baby Dragon is a common. Okay, yeah, we already saw that. Okay, we have a Guardian of the Labyrinth. We have an Insect Soldiers of the Sky, or In the Sky, or of the Sky. We have Battle Steer. We have Krask, Bad Dream Cloud. There we go. And, oh, another Baby Dragon. Okay. That's the one right next to the rares. It's about as close to a rare as you can get when you sort of just because of alph alphabetical order, probably. All right. Can we get something else crazy? These packs don't lay very well when I move them over a little chimera. We have stem pack. I feel like this is green in our artwork, isn't it? We have a mortal of thunder. We have oh, a little spoiler. We have a ocean get. I think we got something. Oh, twin headed thunder dragoon. Very cool. All right. Very, very awesome. Let's sleeve it up with our blue rain sleeves. Very cool. Very beautiful. Beautiful, looking good. All right, this is a really fun opening, guys. This is a set that I like have never even realized. Like when I got that poster behind me, I didn't know it was Metal Raiders. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, it just looks really cool. And I was like, wait, this is Metal Raiders? Why is it green? And I was like, OCG was green. And I had to figure this all out. I didn't know this till recently, all this stuff. We have a, a Musician King. So it's really cool to find this stuff out. Lava Battle Guard, you know, know so much about the TCG like sets and stuff, but I don't really know anything about the OCG. So it's nice to delve into that. We have Seven Colored Fish. Share the Pain. And we have, oh, we've got the, why do I feel like this guy's name is like Yado, Yadu Koro or something like that. I feel like that's his name. I can't remember. We'll, we'll just keep going with it at that point. Okay, so we've got a couple Ultras. We've got one or two Supers. No secret rare yet. We're still looking for that gazelle. I really want to pull that. That'd be fun. We got Jurai Gumo. We've got a, why can I never remember that? Rabbit Horseman. There we go. We have Bickery Box again. We have a King of Yabe Maka and, oh, Milus Radiant. All right, glad he's not a rare at least. I hate seeing that guy in the rare slot. No worries, no worries. We got a few packs left here. Not actually a lot more than a few. We probably not, aren't even halfway at this point. It takes a little bit to open these, like a lot longer for me to open this than it does like the TCG packs. So that's part of the slowness. We have Dream Clown. We have a Starboy. We have a Witch's Apprentice. We have a Jellyfish. And we have a, ooh, Seven Tools of the Bandit. The card we never want to see, but we always end up pulling it somehow. At least it's not Horn of Heaven, I guess. It's a little bit better than that. Seven Tools of the Bandit, beautiful looking card. I'm interested to see what the Metal Raiders versions are. So uh, yeah, look at these sleeves, two supers two ultras they kind of feel nice too they got a good solid feel to them all right we're maybe getting close to halfway i mean there's a lot of foils so far which is cool i hope that means that there's more later and we haven't just pulled all of them already i don't know the ratios here i'm not sure because i can't really read you know the box very well we have blue winged crown we have dragon piper we have black and fire dragon we've got a labyrinth tank and will we get our first rare are there rares? Are we sure there are rares? I'm really not sure. They say there's like 10 rares. We haven't pulled any of them. Maybe they're all at the end, like in a row. Maybe that's what's going to happen because we didn't shuffle them or anything. I feel like they wouldn't do that, but maybe they would. This is only a year before the TCG. So Jirai Guma, I feel like it's going to be fairly similar. Protector of the throne. We got Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. We have a crass clown and we have a magic jammer with the original artwork. All right, that's super cool because this is the original. There's no like, in TCG, we have to be like, yeah, back in the Japanese stuff, eh, you know, this and this and that. This is the original. This is the first time. Very cool, super rare. That, that's cool because it's a unique artwork. All right, more packs to go. Will we be blessed with an epic Metal Raiders pull? You gotta believe, guys. Here we go. Give us that Gozo, the king. I mean, Time Wizard, Time Wizard would be great too. Mushroom Man, number two. Can't see his two though. Where's his two? Can't see it. Cause it's uh, the artwork's extended. We have a uh, jellyfish. Wow, crazy name. Can't believe I guessed that one. Little Chimera. We have the Punished Eagle. And finally we have, Ooh, lava or swamp battle guard not lava okay a few packs left probably like well honestly we might still be at the halfway point it's so hard for me to estimate i'm so bad at estimating how many packs are left i'm always like saying we're farther in than we are if pumpkin we have illusion his face is mage wait is that metal raiders it feels, maybe it is gigatech wolf we have cybersaurus and we have the star boy the boy of the stars all right a few packs left will we get more than two ultras it'd be kind of cool if we got all four ultras i'd be down for that i'd be down for that that'd be fun we have a uh, he makes up the rabbit horseman what is it mystic horseman there we go we have a i feel like it's tainted wisdom cybersaurus we have a seven colored fish and a robin gob wait that's a rare Okay, that's a rare. We finally got a rare. I mean, at least maybe I didn't notice the rares before because they are kind of subtle. 
Well, that's definitely a rare right there. Robin Goblin. Not a bad card back in the day. Okay, here's what we got left. 30 pack opening. Metal Raiders, the original box. So much fun. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this, let me know in the comments. Should we open more like of these OG, OG, OCG sets that were like before the TCG even began? Like Volume 1 and Thousand Eyes Bible and stuff like that. They'd be really fun because you get the ultra rare Thousand Eyes stuff like that. Okay, Skull Knight. First time seeing that beautiful artwork. Paralyzing Potion. We have the Heavy Storm is a common in here. Yeah, insane. Uh, Lady De Fe. I don't think they knew how good it was at that point. And uh, Ancient Brain. I think this one's Ancient Brain. And then the other one's Tainted Wisdom. That makes sense. A few packs left. We're doing pretty good. So that one opened really well. I like that. Maybe that has the Gazelle inside. We have Mystic Horseman. We have Block Attack. The Tainted Wisdom. Niwatori. And we have... Ooh, a Little Swordsman of Ale. These would be like really good options for like... If you want to ask somebody, hey, name this card name, and you don't want to have to like print something off, you could just use the OCG. What if they could read Japanese though? That'd be cheating. It'd be really funny though if you like, some guy just knows Japanese, you know, it's like some white guy or something, and he just knows Japanese, he's just reading them off. He's like, and he, oh yeah, it was so hard. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. It's like those, those YouTube videos that'll pop up every once in a while on your feed. They're like, they didn't know that I knew Japanese or whatever, and they're like listening to some conversation. Okay, we have a... Insect Soldier of the Sky. Can't forget. We have Bistro Butcher, Captain Hook. First time seeing him. We have the Tainted Wisdom. Keep pulling that. We have the Neewatory. What's that mean again? I can't remember. And, uh, ooh, a Catapult Turtle. First time seeing that rare. Catapult Turtle. Are we going to get another foil? Come on, give us a secret rare. Come on, box. All right, next up. Here we go. Metal Raiders. We're probably down to 10 now. I think we're around 10. So we're probably about two thirds of the way in. We have Guilty of the D Knight. Sagi, the Dark Clown. Very nice. We have Thunder Dragoon. We have Ring of Magnetism. And can we get a secret? Oh, a Launcher Spider. No secret. Still searching. 11 left. Now, I counted. I, I counted just to be sure, guys. Okay, look. I, I got tired of guessing. I just actually counted. And guess what? We had more than 10. Who would have guessed? Bistro Butcher, but not me, apparently. We have a Protector of the Throne. Right now, if I hadn't looked up the set list, I'd be like, where's Petit Bob? We have the Guilty of the D-Knight. We have a Jellyfish. And we have a... <laughs> Let's wait. It's still at the end of the pack, even when it's not a rare. Let's go. We have Mushroom Man number two. We have Witch's Apprentice. Labyrinth. D Defender of the Labyrinth. There we go. Labyrinth Defender. Defender of the Labyrinth. I think it's Defender of the Labyrinth. Dream Clown. And we have... Oh, again, soldier, it's rare, okay? It's something, it's not nothing. I'm not gonna lie, these are really nice sleeves to use because they, they're they really, the thing I really like about uh, penny sleeves is how easy it is to put it in there without damaging the card. And so far, these have been really easy to use without like potentially dinging a corner, which makes sense because it's coming from two collectors who went, like are behind it. So they did a good job with that. Because when you use some of the like nice sleeves, it can be, you gotta be really careful. You know, if you like, it's like hitting your card and you like try not to ding that the corner. I feel like these do not do that, which is great. So I'm liking this so far. We're down to the last few packs and we have, what we pulled like three supers, two ultras or something, no secret. We have a swamp battle guard. We've got little swordsman of ale on a, on a lizard. I've kind of never noticed that. We have the dragon piper, gigatech wolf and, Oh, a dark elf. Okay, common, common, no big deal. Can we pull something epic? Will it be a secret rare? We have Niwatori, come on. We have the Flame Cerberus. We have the Sword of the Deep Seated. German Fection, that's what it is. And finally, we have... Oh, Illusionist Faceless Mage, Pegasus. Seven packs, guys, seven packs. We gotta believe we can do this. Seven packs, come on, come on, seven packs. You can, you can have the cards we're looking for. Heavy Storm, great card. Skull Knight, we've got a Guilty of the D Knight. The Knight of the D, we have Little Swords and Veil, and we have Karibo, that's a rare, all right, pretty cool. Karibo's nice, always nice to pull Karibo, not as cool as not a hollow, but still pretty cool as a regular rare. Thing with Japanese writing is it's so thin, you can barely see the silver. But I will say Japanese writing, I think looks way cooler than our writing, I'm not gonna lie. It just looks a lot more like old school, like ancient, you know? I like it, I think it looks really, really like stylish. I don't know, I, I don't know. That's just my opinion on Japanese, but look, look at it. It looks dope, all right, it looks awesome. It look, it's perfect for cardboard, you know? It looks, it's good for collecting. We have Tainted Wisdom. We have Insect Soldiers of the Sky, and we have a Zag in the Dark Cloud. Every time I see a normal, I'm like, Gazelle? No. Five packs left. Any more foils? Okay, we're on a little bit of a cold streak here. Uh, ratios, if there's only five foils in here, these are way worse than, than the DCG. I think I remember that though. I think I remember OCG having pretty rough ratios. So it'd be like one every six to get any foil at all. That'd be really tough. We have Crass Clown. 
Blade Fly. We have Starboy. We have the Heavy Storm and Cybersaurus, the teddy bear with a mechanical blaster on his left arm. Four packs left. Oh, it's, it's turning bleak, guys. Come on. We got to turn this around at the very... I mean, we've had a good opening and we got Barrel Dragon, which is a really cool one to get, uh, you know, since it is the cover card, but we also got Garnese Elephantis. Here we go. We got, uh, what, what was it? Griffin's Feather Duster. We have Protector of the Throne, Little Swordsman of Ale. We have the Crass Clown and we have Witch of the Black Forest. All right, all the rares were at the end. That was right, by the way. Down to the last 10% of the box, last three packs out of 30. Come on, it's been a fun time. It's been awesome opening this box. Here we go. Oh man, that opened kind of weird. Uh, these are just have the long things. Okay, oh, we got stuff on the back. That makes me feel like we might have a foil. I don't know, we have a uh, baby dragon. Let's see if we can pull a secret rare here. Guardian of the Labyrinth, we have the Paralyzing Potion. Mushroom Man, number two. And finally, we have Share the Pain. Okay, it's just the back card. Just the back card just has a lot of stuff on it. Two packs to go. I feel like I'm sharing the pain right now with you guys. But you guys don't have to feel the pain because I'm feeling the pain for you. You're welcome. Here we go. Two packs to go. Can we get a secret rare? Yacht, I think it's Yado, Yadu Karu or something like that. Or Karo, maybe. Uh, Swamp Battle Guard. There we go. <laughs> Seven colored fish. Little Chimera, and finally, a Shadow Ghoul. Okay, rare, rare, last pack magic, maybe. Last pack magic of this OCG 2001 Metal Raiders opening, the very first Metal Raiders set to ever be released. And there's since then, there's been English, there's been a million versions, but this is the original, the OG. Will we get a secret rare in the last pack? That would be exciting, I would be down. We have a King of Yami Makai. We have Launcher Spider, Punished Eagle, We've got the Musician King. And finally, the final card of this opening. We didn't get a Grande Moth either. Maybe we could get that. Here we go. Oh, the Castle of Dark Illusions. All right, so the OCG has some rough ratios. That is what we have figured out from this. Three supers, two ultras out of 30 packs. That's pretty tough, but this was extremely fun to delve into something that I don't know a lot about. Hopefully you guys learned a lot today about OCG sets that came out and we've kind of based our sets off of. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up like this. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.